uh, they stretch this all out. Yeah, guys, this is a lot. This is a keg lid. Look at all that. Oh my, all the way to the end. They single stack those all in the middle. The only bad thing is, is the things will shift back and forth because they're not pinwheeled. These things here, these here could fall against the wall. And there's the only way you can take and fix that, I don't think. There ain't nothing on the side of the trailer now. But the, the ones in the front, I'm not really, the ones up there, I'm not work concerned about. I'm more concerned about these right here. But we'll do what we can do. Screw it. If they fall against the wall, they fall against the wall. You know, this ain't a problem over here. These are zip, these are, are, uh, you can walk all the way down through there. Sure can. Yeah. But these here are not, not strapped in over here. Or, huh. So it's supposed to be strapped in? No, it's not supposed to be strapped in. Um, it could be closer though. They could have sit these sideways, but I don't know what we're gonna do here. Be nice if I can. Be nice if I could take and uh, get down this wall and be able to put some straps over these things, but I don't see that happening. Or climb up over the top of this crap and put some straps in. Hmm, I don't know. Let's put the straps in that we got right now. But this is a keglo, guys, so <laughs> uh, it's gonna be interesting. Let me see what I can do about strapping this. Put my strings in my shirt because we already know that uh scott rush will be saying something about my straps in the in the <laughs> in the picture <clears throat> so first games first we're going to take these straps and we're going to put them in the wall and secure these things so i'm going to put that there put this on around up and over here And then go here. And put it on tight. Like right here. And then they're moving these kegs. They're moving. Down. So we got those on. Don't have to worry. Get another ski thingy here. And then, uh, sorry, I just burped. Put this at the. Put these right here. Right there. And then we'll put this one. Huh? It goes in the slot like this here. And then this side goes up. You put it all the way in, pull it down, and let it lock in. Okay. See what I'm saying? So it has to go in that little notch. Okay. There first, and then this will go down in the notch down the bottom. See what I'm saying? Up, down, then lock in. Okay. So we'll get that. Uh, we got to take this to New York. Hundred miles, six hundred fifty miles. So, hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, just to be clear, what are you concerned that it won't? My concern is this: this barrel right here uh -huh. will it may fall. That way. That's what my concern is. I'm not really, I'm not worried about about this one here. I'm more concerned about those up there, those that skid up there. You said that they normally don't put it in here that way. Mm mm. That's what my concern is. That's why I was wondering about. 
climbing up on there and putting a strap across the top of them barrels to go across over on that side of the wall. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Because I got the, the straps to do that. Now the problem is, is getting up there is the other part. Can you can get up there. Yeah, these straps are are good enough to hold you to get up there. I just I just need it right about here. Just right there is all you gotta strap it at. I'll be right back. I got corner pieces that we can put on it to put on the, the middle of the two barrels. And I'll show you what I need need done. Be right back. It's better to secure it than it is to have to pick it back up. Those are 168 pounds a piece. <laughs> so we'll be right back. So I'm gonna get me some straps and some corner pieces real quick. And Kim says she'll climb up there on top of all that and uh, take care of it. But we'll get these corner pieces that I have right here. See, I got these here, they can fit over the side of the barrels. And then I got more straps right here where we can lock this all in um, like so. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So explain to her how we're gonna do this. Watch the grease. And let's get back up here in the back of the truck again. All right. All right, what we're gonna do is this piece here needs to go in between the two barrels. You know what I'm talking about? See the two barrels are on the side here. Mm -hmm. So the two barrels on the side there and then clip it on the wall and then I'll be over here and clip it on the wall over here and then we'll ratchet strap it over. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's put the strap in the wall. Here's the, well here, I'll give you this side here so you don't have to climb all over it and then there's this and then let me get over here oh, oh damn it hold on a second I'm gonna have to take this off to get through here I'm sorry yeah that was me <laughs> no it was me sorry I just taken the straps off that I put on <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, see if I can get in here. I moved these things over this. They don't like me. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this over here. Ah. Uh, it don't look like it's going to do anything here. Hmm. Don't look like it's going to do anything anyway. So, it ain't going to work. We're just going to have to deal with it if it arises. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It shouldn't go anywhere. Only if you do an abrupt turn and hit a curb. But just trying to... Ugh. Push these cakes over. Alright. Yeah, see there's where I want you to put that thing at. There's nothing right there you can put it at. Uh, yeah. Well see see where the two barrels are coming together right here? That's where I wanted you to put that center thing at. Yeah. And then then the same thing over on this one. <laughs> yeah. 
can see if you do the same thing over here, put it on the, just on the, on that one, on the, in between them two barrels, that plastic piece, so I can strap it across here and ratchet strap it. That's why I'm, what we're doing. You get what I'm saying? Right. So do you, if you, since I'm over here now, we can get that, do that. I don't, now that I understand, I don't see how I can get over there without being on top of you. Oh, these things ain't gonna move. They're not gonna move. They're not gonna move. No, they're not gonna, they're in a cradle. You can see where they're in a cradle, right there. They're they're about that far down. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay. It's just when you if you hit a bump and you make a curve, it could take and roll it off. That's why I'm, when it starts moving is what I'm saying. Okay. So that's not going to be a problem there to be on top of these. Just watch your. Yeah, you can butt slide down there. Just watch your jeans. Yep, that's where I want that at. And then just one or two down. Just so it'll have a a pressure, be able to pressure point it, you know what I mean? Got it? Alright. So no, no, no. I need... Okay, that's good. Right there. And since you're at a little bit of an angle, I'm going to put this in this particular spot right here. I'm going to put it down here, like so. And these people that we're going to take this delivery to is probably going to look at this like we're flipping crazy. And now... See if it see how it just loosened up right there. So hold on a second. You got it back down in. Try to put it down toward the there you go. That works. That works a whole lot better. Alright. And you see what that does? It put it puts a pressure against them two kegs to keep them this way. See what I'm saying? All right, good job. We're doing the same thing with this set here. This may be a little bit of overkill, but at least we're going to be able to make it where we can peace of mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, just put it in either one of them. Just put it in the... Uh, Put it in the one right there by your knee. It doesn't matter which way you put it on. Turn, there you go. Yeah, guys, I don't have you guys on where I can see you right this second. We're uh, we're trying to get this thing all set up so we can get these uh, kegs locked. Now you got that in. Uh oh. Can you get it? Can you reach it? Boy. Yeah. You'll be in New York, huh? Yeah, that's why. We'll see you again. <laughs> see you in New York. I'll still be back here like this. <laughs> yeah, you just put a little pressure to it. Now it's not gonna go anywhere. If you wanna go ahead and get out, you can get out. Yeah, you're probably going to have to climb up. See, see kids, that's why you should play on the monkey bars. <laughs> you good? <laughs> All right. Monkey bar experience right there. Mm -hmm. 
playground. Lessons for the playground. All right, let me get the heck out of here myself. All right, good job. All right. Woohoo! Good job. That's my workout for the day. It's your workout for the day. Okay, now let's put this back up on the top one. Ah, oh, boy, boy, boy. Make sure I didn't rip my jeans or you rip your jeans or any of that crazy stuff. Oh, I've had them come flying across the truck before really? where they snapped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, old Michaels, huh? <laughs> All right, guys. All right. All right, now. I haven't seen any of you guys' comments, but you guys see what I've done, what we've done here. We uh, put straps going across here, and we secured these kegs so it puts pressure against these two stacks on the between these two kegs. So what we've done here is made it where these won't bounce off, they won't move now. And that was my concern. I'm not concerned about them way up there in the front. I don't care about them. Uh, they're not gonna do anything, but I'm just concerned about these ones in the back because they're right above the tires. So, all right, Kim, how was that? Was it exciting? <laughs> oh boy. All right, now we gotta, get out of this truck and finish our pre-trip. So we're getting ready to hop out of here. She wants to get out of here. She said it's, it's a break time. All right. <clears throat> that's my knees popping. Can you hear them? Was that, was that you? Yeah, that's my knees cracking. Was plastic on the... No, it's my knees popping and cracking. Like... There's a step right there. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't know, you're not sure yet. I'm trying out both ways. Trying out both ways. All right, well, we're doing a pre-trip on this thing. Looks like my light test went off. So This thing's been hit right here. It's not no damage on the trailer truck. Really, we can't use it, but just uh, letting there, you, know, you guys know it's been hit. We uh, shutting this up. Like so. Going to test the... The door springs, they're good. Uh, everything's seal, seals look good. Yeah. Right? Yep. Now we're gonna finish doing the pre-trip. Oh boy. You about to turn the lights on? Yeah, I'm getting ready to turn the lights on. Whew. So we're in the West Dallas light. This is our West Dallas light out here in uh, West Dallas, Wisconsin. Um, uh, so the light test is turned on and now we can go proceed with the test We've got us a little red rag little red rags are happy they're shop towels so we uh check make sure there's no holes or anything on the outside of the trailer top and bottom sorry my fingers in the way um make sure all the rivets Rivets are there. Make sure the light is flashing. It is flashing. I just wiped it off. Good deal. Okay, now we're looking up underneath the trailer here. The uh, pins are are locked in to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, eighth hole. Um, the C clamp slide is intact and it's on the rail. The other one back here is on the on the rail too. Um, don't see anything wrong with the brakes, brake drums. Don't see anything wrong with any floor joists. All right, with anything. So now we're looking at the tire, making sure the tire is in good shape. Both tires. We're gonna take this rag and we're gonna wipe off. Here we have oil in the hub. Okay, if we needed to fill the oil hub up, this bolt right here is a 516th Allen wrench. You pop that off and you put gear oil in there. 
and I do have all the stuff to do that in the truck. Um, so we check this one here. It's uh, you got oil in this one here. Same thing. There's the the fill plug. See all the the uh, the lug nuts are on there. All the lug nuts are on that one. Don't see anything wrong with the uh, with the actual rim. We have oil. We're rich. The uh, the mud black bracket or the brackets on there secure, and it's also got the mud flap on it. Uh, this here is a marker light, so we're in good shape. This is the ABS light. The ABS light is not on, so we're good there. Now around here, there's your your marker lights. We'll wipe the dirt off of them. Your your, your is your marker lights and your hazard lights and your turn signal. Yeah, what are these? And that's your brake light and your and your hazard light. No, that's your brake light and your marker. And a marker. Yeah, it does your hazard and your turn signal are over here. Your turn signal and hazard over here and your marker light, and this is your marker light and brake light. Okay. And then yeah, clean and proper color. Clean and red in color. No, and this here is white to be a license plate white and it's white in color same thing over here this is your, your inside lights or your braking marker lights your outside lights here are your your hazard your turn signal and your marker lights yep so right now we look down here this is just a marker light here to indicate the back of the trailer look at the top of the trailer it's been scraped up a little bit um up in there, got a little bit of scrape marks on it where it may have been backed in next to the container. Look down here, look at all the rivets. We got the mud flap on the trailer. Uh, the tire looks in good shape. See, we oh, you oil. Let her take it in the side. You see the oil on that side? Jim, we struck oil. <laughs> you struck oil. All right. Jim, we're rich. We're rich, huh? So you just see anything wrong with the tires? Nothing wrong with the tires. And if they were doing these, I'd be looking in between for any yeah. dog in it. Yeah. Just looking at the airlines back here. Make sure everything's in, up in the air like they're supposed to. The springs in the proper location right there. Don't hear any leaks, audible leaks. Yeah, you both see clamps for there. Now we're looking down the side of the trailer here again. Don't see any pop rivets. We do have a, uh, a blimmy there where it's been hit by a trailer door possibly but there's not it's been a while <coughs> with stuff well, you can wipe that light off yes, okay dokie well i always like to take and do that and then this here you know smile god loves you yeah you gotta watch doing all that that's still considered graffiti really? yeah we, i had a student one time that put it yeah yeah well i had a student one time that was a real big insane clown posse fan oh, wow. and he would write insane clown posse on our trailers and the two trucks on either side of us when we were parked for the night oh yeah he was a the yes yes so so there's no rocks or anything on the landing gear that can come off the uh the, the landing gear and get thrown out onto somebody else's car or on the road Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's been a little bit there. We've our shocks on the truck. Make sure that the sleeve is not down and there's no oil dripping off of the, the shocks while we're doing our pre-trip on our trailer. So we might as well just kind of look through here and make sure there's nothing. We don't see any chunks out of our tire. Same thing with our, our shock right there. Make sure that the casing's not down. It's not leaking any oil there either. All right. Checking my tires. Make sure I didn't pick up any nails. Uh, anything like it in any of my tires make sure my airlines this is just a quick quick overlay overlook what are you looking for yeah yeah this is paint peeling off the paint uh, uh, off the brake chamber right there she's looking at that right there if i can get my right there right there so um the other thing we're looking for here is making sure our airlines are off the catwalk they are off the catwalk on both sides right there. They're not rubbing or touching, so that's good uh, because some trailers are closer than the other one. Now, when we, uh, when I asked Opie to take and find the trailer, that's what that thing right up there is. That white, that box up there, that's a, uh, a GPS tracker on the trailer. 
and that's why we couldn't find it that's why i asked him if he could ping it to find the trailer all right so we're looking on down through here and making sure everything's there's nothing broke or loose <clears throat> all my lights are working right here my tires is working and then i always try to you feel how this got a little gritty right there i always try to wipe it off and it helps the lights so wax on wax off all right so we're gonna get the uh get the paperwork for this load i'm gonna show you where it's at real quick there cam you ready <laughs> nope nope the paperwork for the load is over here so uh anybody have any questions there's cam She's learning. <laughs> she's learning. Everybody, she's learning. All right, we gotta go to these mailboxes right here. You so, got mail. Yeah, you got mail. So now we open up this one, and this is what we see. Now we gotta find our trailer in this bunch of papers here. So, at least there's the Owen Brockway glass. We don't need these, that's not ours. This here, trailer number is, doo -doo 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 -doo. where's the trailer number at? Container number, yep, that's not ours, that's 14. That's a contact number. Trailer number is 14, 268. Yeah, it's on the other side. There's ours, 17, 116. Woohoo, look at that. So. Put those back in there, shut her back up. So we got 45,579 pounds of kegs on the back of that trailer and it's 28 packages. So Kim's first day of driving a truck with Mr. Perry is going to be pulling a semi wannabe taker. <laughs> so uh, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's see here. Let me get this thing turned back around. Hey, thanks Bye, for watching. Hey, oh, Michaels. Hey, oh, Michaels. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Go to uh, Kim's page. Give her a little love on her uh, YouTube channel, too. But she, everything's going to be here. Everything's going to be pretty much here on Pebbles Bootlegger. And I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> she ain't, she'll probably do a weekly update on how our day's going, how our week's going. Maybe. Maybe. But, but uh, we'll teach you guys. Look going on on our channel and what's going on thanks everybody for watching just like i said like share and subscribe share it with your friends and go from there and uh we'll be continually putting these videos up for you guys sure sure we'll put it right back in the back in the side box <clears throat> so we're putting our stuff away here i got this thing all cleaned out look at that it's like a mess but it's all right it's it's an organized mess so <laughs> you guys have a good one talk to you later Thanks for watching.